Hi and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a login and grant user access to multiple servers and all DBs in that server at once. For this, I have come up with three scenarios on bulk role assignment. We are going to discuss each scenario one by one. The first scenario, we are going to create a login in one server and provide read write access to only one database in the server. This is a basic thing, but still we will see one by one. Let us see a demo. After we connect to a SQL Server instance, expand security, login, new login, enter the login name and select the authentication type and go to user mapping. Here I have the list of databases. Select the database where you want to create a user for the specified login. And here in the database rule membership, select data reader and data writer and click OK. To give password and click OK. The login is created. We can also create a login using T-SQL script. Creating a user or a single login for a single database is very easy. So what if I want to create a user for a specified login for more databases in the same instance, which is our scenario two. We are going to create a login in one server and provide same read write access to all the databases in the server. Here I have total six user databases. Selecting each database and selecting read write permission is okay. If you have some 10, around 10 data databases and all. But what if you have around 30 or 40 databases? It is not that easy to select each one and select read and writer. It is somewhat time consuming. So in order to overcome this, we have a script. You just need to execute the script where you exclude system databases. Once we execute the script, my user demo to user will be created in all the user databases. We also need to pass create login statement along with this uh, cursor. Once I execute, my user will be created in all the user databases. Let us verify. User mapping. And you can see in all the system databases, the user is created with reader and write permission. Okay. I'll provide you the script in the description. You can take it from there. Now, what if, if you have more than 10 plus servers or 30 or 40 servers in your environment and you want to give read rate access to the user in all these 30 or 40 servers, you cannot simply log in to each server and execute the script. Still, it's time consuming. So what to do for that? And that is our scenario three. We are going to create one login in multiple servers and provide them read rate access to all user databases in those servers. Let us see a demo. In SQL Server Management Studio, under View option, you have a registered server. Click on it. You get this registered server pane. Here in that, right click on local server group and new server group. Here, give the group name. Let's say I have UAT server, UAT servers. Give any description of your choice. And this is optional, description is optional. Okay, now you can see a group has been created. Now under this group, you have to register your servers. In my environment, I have only two servers. Let me register those two servers. Okay, save. One server has been created. Add another server in the same group. So in my environment, I have only two servers. If you have 30 or 40 servers in your environment, in your VAT environment or dev environment, 
you can add in a similar fashion once all servers has been added to this group just select this group and open a new query expand this okay and execute this script will run and create a user in all the servers and in all the databases and if any database is having some issue it will throw an error similar to uh, like this okay now let's connect individually and verify whether the user is created or not demo 3 okay so it created in all the uh, databases so see this test database is in recovery pending status which is not accessible and hence it is not created the user is not created in test database for this instance what about the uh, previous instance search for demo 3 you can see it created okay so this is how we create a user in all the servers in all databases at once using this script i hope this video will be helpful for you so that's all in this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button to share and subscribe for more videos. And thank you for watching the video. We'll meet in the next video.